We call upon Brahaspati Jupiter, Lord of Jyotish, to be with us here today and inspire us. Om Gurave Namaha Om, Om Gurave Namaha Om Gurave Namaha Hello and welcome. My name is Nina Ashby and this is my co-host Israel Josie. And we're welcome. here today to continue our talk on Lagna, the Lords of Lagna, which is also known as the first house or the ascendant, your rising sign. In the previous video, part one, we discussed Aries through Virgo Lagna. And now we're going to continue with the zodiac with Libra, starting with Libra and working our way through to Pisces. We're now going to discuss Vrishchika or Scorpio Lagna. Vrishchika Lagna. And Scorpio or Vrishchika in the first house or in the Lagna uh, appears to be rounder, softer. It's a water sign. So we're talking more sort of moist or glassy eye looking eyes, rounder eyes, rounder face and features, dark hair, dark tendency to have dark eyes, and a little bit shorter in statue, stature, a little bit shorter in stature. Scorpio is natural ruler is Mars or Mongol in Jyotisha. And Mongol is the planet of war, aggression, assertion, sexuality, and action. The natural zodiac ruler of Mars and Scorpio is the eighth house. So what we're saying is the Lagna eighth becomes the first, but there's still that influence. So all matters that are eighth house type matters, such as an interest in death, an interest in mystical and occult knowledge, an interest in, in anything that's underground. And it also rules research. It rules hidden kinds of knowledge. Um, it can rule the black market. It can rule things that are hidden from public view, things that are not completely above board, so to speak, so the underworld. Uh, and it can also be this very spiritual side, very interest in higher knowledge, higher learning, but it would be occult. In other words, hidden from the public view. And I think that that's the important aspect of Vrishchika Mangal, is that there is a certain sense of self-containment and sensitivity that the Vrishchika Lagna person has that makes them quite a powerful and charismatic kind of energy and maybe a bit mysterious, wouldn't you say? Most definitely. Uh, Vrishtika, uh, uh, also known as Scorpio, is uh, extremely very penetrating. Uh, the ability to really go beneath uh, the depths is something that is uh, strongly inherent with them. Um, uh, Scorpio is also a fixed sign, so uh, they, you know, they have, they're very determined to, to see things through. Um, uh, they have very, very strong passions also about them also as well. Um, the houses that are very favourable for um, Scorpio rising are uh, the fifth house, which is ruled by Jupiter. So Jupiter automatically becomes a Raj Yoga Karaka uh, for people who are Scorpio rising. Um, uh, so this house, uh, you know, they flourish. Uh, the fifth house, which is to do with creativity, is connected with progeny, is connected with children, self-expression, automatically becomes a very, very strong placement for them. The sixth house also becomes a strong placement for people who are Scorpio rising. Uh, also houses the tenth house and the ninth house, which are automatically going to be ruled by the sun and moon. Uh, the tenth house is going to be ruled by the sun and the ninth house is going to be ruled by the moon is also great also for uh, Scorpio rising uh, uh, too. Um, the sixth house also becomes a quite interesting house also for Scorpio rising because Mars or Mongol, the planet that rules Scorpio, uh, uh, not only rules the ascendant but also becomes the ruler of the sixth house. And the sixth house is to do with work, it's to do with uh, illnesses uh, and your ability to overcome uh, your enemies in life. 
so this uh, house placement also becomes uh, very very crucial for those who are Scorpio rising 